Today on our 2015 Acura MDX, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118628. Now here's what it's going to look like once it's installed. Now this is going to provide you with a four flat trailer wiring to allow you to tow most of your smaller trailers. And it's compatible if you want to add an adapter to change it from a, from a four flat to a six or seven way connector. The powered module light is going to reduce stress on your vehicle's wiring system. It's simply a plug and play operation and you don't have to cut any wires or splice, which is a good thing with, our, with today's electronics that are in our vehicles. Now this is what your kit's going to consist of. We're going to have our module, our inline fuse. It's going to plug right into our factory fuse box in the back of the vehicle and our four flat connector with a weather tight cap. And also come with a couple of fuses that we're going to put into our factory wiring, some two sided tape and some zip ties. Now let's show you how to install it. And to begin our install we're going to need to gain access to the fuse panel. We can take this cover, we'll slip it back, we'll reach in and pull out this cargo pocket and we're going to need to gain access to our fuse panel that's located behind this cover here. We'll take a flat bladed screwdriver and a pry out at the bottom. We'll find the area that we're going to plug in our trailer wiring. It's going to go right here in the bottom of our fuse panel. So we're going to take our wire, put our plug on it. We're going to fish it through the back side here. And we're going to bring it out. And we're going to snap it in to our panel. You heard it click, we'll give it a tug, make sure it's nice and tight. Now we still have access to the built-in fuse holder for our module light. Then we're going to need to ground our system. And we're going to use a factory ground that's located here in the back side. And we're going to tie into the factory ground. That's a 10 millimeter bolt, we'll remove that. And we can apply our ground wire. Place our bolt through the ring loop connector and we'll reinstall our factory grounds. Now we'll take a little rubbing alcohol. We're going to clean off the area that we're going to mount our control box. Put some two sided tape on the back. Peel it off. We're going to attach our box. Right there, press it into place. Now we're going to need to put a couple of fuses in our fuse panel. Now our kit's going to come with a 10 amp and a 7.5 amp fuse. The 10 amp is going to go in position 2. So we'll place this into position 2. We're going to push it all the way in until it's flush with our panel. Now our 7.5 amp fuse is going to go into position number 11. That's going to be our fourth cavity over. You have one large one and then three small ones. will be on our fourth one. It's the one that'll get our 7.5 amp. I'm going to push that down firmly into place. Then we want to double check to make sure that our fuse is installed properly into our inline fuse, which is a 15 amp. Then we can reinstall our fuse cover. Snap it back into place. Then we can test our wiring harness. We'll remove our weather tight cap. We're going to use the Kurt trailer wire te four flat tester, part number I26, available on our website to test our system. We'll plug it in. We're going to try our tail lights, our left turn signal, and our right turn signal. and our brake. Good, everything works. Now normally you would just lay your trailer wiring over the threshold and close the gate on it for a four flat design. Now our customers are going to add on a seven way later on so we need to run this wire outside the vehicle so we can plug into our seven way connector when they're ready to do that install. So we found a, there's a grommet underneath this perforated area there's a rubber plug that goes outside the vehicle. 
So we're just gonna cut that rubber plug. And we're gonna remove that plug. A flat bladed screwdriver. I'm gonna take it and go underneath this rubber mat so we can put it back down and cover everything back up. So we're gonna place this under the mat. I'm gonna cut a little notch in our cover here, put our wire through and we can silicone it back up. And we can remove that piece that we cut out. Take our plug and we'll pass it back through the vehicle to the outside. We'll slide our wire into the grommet that we've put the groove in. We'll snap it back into position. And we can zip tie our wiring to our factory wiring. Snip off our excess. We're gonna take a little black RTV available on our website. We'll place a little bit of silicone on here to help seal out all the dirt and moisture. Now we can place our storage bin back into position to fit over the back side. And we'll just drop down and everything's hidden underneath. We can just close up our hatch. Now we can bunch up our excess wire and we're going to zip tie it to our the tube on the back of our hitch and we'll attach our four flat for now until they decide to do their trailer braking our seven-way connector to the bottom side of our bracket trim off our excess and we'll be ready to hit the road and that's going to do it for a look at and install of the T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118628 on our 2015 Acura MDX.